Thought the door was broken for a second. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're going to do a little bit different format today. We're just going to take a walk. We're going to take a morning walk, walk and talk, have a chat, conversation. Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's having a great start to their Sunday and has a smile on their face. It's happy today. I want to pose a challenge as I have a link in the description to my Instagram. So if anybody can provide me, I would appreciate it. Thank you in advance. But if anybody can provide me with my request of positive news stories, positive news headlines, I would appreciate it. Send me a message on my Instagram because I want to include these in future videos. And maybe we can even make this fun and interactive for those who participate in sharing these good news stories. There's a little Honda Ruckus, a little Ruckus. Looks like a Ruckus. I remember there was a time where Ruckus was super popular and everybody wanted to modify their Honda Ruckus. Back in the day, Import Alliance. Smash the like button, comment down below if I got any car fans. Japanese imports, German, American, muscle, classic cars, trucks, doesn't matter. Car people are car people. Even these Broncos are starting to grow on me. But either way, folks, please be mindful of each other. Be respectful in the comment section down below. I do have moderators. Uh, to keep things clean. Uh, I'm not here to censor, but I am also not interested in anyone disrespecting anyone else uh, unnecessarily in the comment section. And uh, yeah, also watch out for the bots, the scammers, trying to get you to, to text them and chat with them on WhatsApp, send them money and invest, try to give you some sort of prize that you didn't enter to win. Uh, even if it has my face on it, I promise you it's not me. So if you want to reach me, you have to reach out to me and all my info is in the description for you to, to do that. Now, uh, it is Sunday, April 16th, approximately 9.45 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to make this video quick because uh, I've got a live stream scheduled at 10.30 a.m. So I obviously have to be ready for that one. But uh, as my co-host, <laughs> I guess my co-host is how we're going to describe it, is preparing herself for her debut, ready for her close-up, uh, I decided just to take a quick walk. The weather is nice, and also, uh, it's not raining. We had a downpour last night, thunder, lightning, it was crazy. My kid loved it. She loves thunderstorms at the beach. And uh, because of this, weather today I decided to take this walk look at this tour bus look where he came from I wonder if there's a celebrity inside or maybe this is just somebody's class A it says Florida coach so it's probably for hire man I think it's crazy but I just want to take this time enjoy this beautiful weather we're going to uh 
have this live stream at 10 a.m. And then we're gonna grab brunch. I promised Michelle brunch, the kid brunch. And then we're probably gonna go grocery shopping uh, because we don't really have anything to eat for breakfast, especially for the upcoming week. So we need to go ahead and stock up, stockpile. So, um, you guys got any, what's your favorite breakfast, brunch? You know, I like Cracker Barrel, but I also don't like Cracker Barrel because when you think about it, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a Sunday, I want Cracker Barrel. And so does everybody else. So then there's this crazy long wait. You can't make a reservation, but the food is good. I like the food. I like the mama's French toast, um, scrambled eggs, cheese, put the Kobe on there. My kid likes IHOP. I'm not a huge IHOP fan. I think IHOP's got good pancakes, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes, most of the time I go to IHOP, I'm just not super impressed by the delivery, if that makes sense. I'm taking the long way today. And, um, but here where we live, we have some unique options, smaller, locally owned restaurants that serve brunch, maybe even bottomless mimosas that won't be national, interna like nationally known. So if I list them to you guys, you'd be like, man, what, what is that? But they're good. We like, we like the smaller, local, personalized feel. Um, fresh made farm to table type eclectic maybe depending uh we just enjoy that we like to mix it up i'm gonna walk over here because she's smoking over here in the breezeway and yeah i don't enjoy being subjected to cigarette smoke but I also uh, can't handle it because uh, it affects me and my allergies and um, ultimately I end up getting sick from it my kid she does the same literally in minutes uh, having that exposure so to each their own everybody has their uh, own Vice, breakaway, coping, not, you know, I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna move away from it. And I guess that's part, of the, that's part of what we need to be doing sometimes. It's just like moving away from problems. I don't need to go over there and smack the cigarette out of her hand and, and yell at her for doing that. And this guy keeps following me in this Mercedes. Um, Sometimes you just need to move away, which ironically is exactly what some of these businesses are doing, like Walmart, Target, and uh, Discount Tire, Applebee's, from previous video reports that I shared with you guys. And they, they find themselves in these, these areas. Oh, Blazer. A buddy might have one of these. Oh, we had it on a four link, bagged, slammed, big block, a small block, V8, clean, super clean. Um, so they find themselves in these situations. They're like, you know what? This is not the ideal location for our business. We're going to move away from the problem. End of story. <clears throat> so that's what I do. I just, I identify the pros and cons, the upsides, the downsides. I move towards the good, I move away from the bad. Very simple concept, really. <clears throat> My wife wants one of those challengers so bad. She wants the, uh, the year before that. She doesn't want the new one. She wants the, the first of the 
Re refresh. Got to take a trip. I'm waiting. To, I need to go get my car back. Hopefully I get my car back tomorrow. Porsche Macan GTS in for service. It was actually a CPO certified pre-owned. So make sure I don't run out of time here for this live stream. I right, got plenty of time. I'm, I'm making good time walking. Certified pre-owned, uh, having some work done under warranty and pretty cool folks over there. I like the process and they actually told me that they're documenting whatever problems I have so that if for some reason they become bigger problems, <clears throat> once the CPO warranty expires, I'll have a paper trail and it could potentially help me in the future because some of these costs can be expensive, high. Um, but either way, uh, when I get it back, I'll be taking a, a road trip. You guys know, you might have seen my mom, she came, my mom and Michelle's mom actually both came down together, carpooled to visit us last week. But it really, it was more so for them to get away. My mom actually to get away. Uh, she's been caring for my grandmother, her mother, for quite some time. And my grandmother is 94 years old and uh, sharp as a tack, or at least she was. Uh, quite possibly one of the most impressive memories I've ever seen. Who's someone who spent quite a bit of time reading newspapers, watching the news, doing crossword puzzles every day she could tell you anything and everything from memory like it happened yesterday and i'm talking stuff that happened like 60 years ago 70 years ago growing up in alabama before moving to new york uh in some challenging times in american history if you guys know what i mean 70 80 years ago not quite the same world it is today. See what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, interestingly enough, it just seems like overnight, the cognitive response is rapidly deteriorating. And F-150 Sport. Need to get it. Good car wash, truck wash. Um, rapidly deteriorating. It's actually a pretty cool Audi R8 over here. I want to show you guys. Um, but deteriorating relatively quickly. I'll show you guys this Audi R8. Atlanta used car sales. I think they're in a, I think they are a primary luxury exotic used car dealer. You can see uh, this one's actually the V8. So this is, oh, okay. So in case you guys, so for my car folks out there, this is a first gen Audi R8 V8 with the automatic transmission, no gated six speed. The V10s command a premium. They're basically, as somebody described, I think, uh, I think Luke Terry said that the, uh, the, the Lamborghini Audi V10 was the Honda Civic of the exotic luxury car world, where you just take the engine and drop it in anything. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but you guys get the drift. Nice Jeep. So many Jeeps here, it's Jeep country. And so the cognitive response, 
the synapses are not firing quite like they should and she's literally deteriorating overnight so I'm gonna go see her while I still can try to provide some aid and support for my mom especially now where nice little Mustang uh, I think she's doing okay but uh, the frequency of uh, the dementia and quote-unquote episodes are increasing where she's just kind of like angry at everyone and ultimately counting down um, I was actually I titled my video feels like we're knocking on heaven's door for the video I put up last night and I titled that video before I even recorded it and this is part of my creative process it varies from time to time and ironically as we're recording we get interrupted by let me come out here and grill put something on the grill it's a nice day we get interrupted by a phone call it's my sister-in-law and she's at my mom's and they're all dealing with my grandmother and she's like she's asking for you where are you so like i said i'll take a road trip and i just felt like it was interesting it was fitting knocking on heaven's door i mean she literally says that she's got a date that she's going to be out of here as if she's moving out the same date of which she moved out of her apartment a few years ago to move in with my mom. So we're not sure if it's a lapse in time and she thinks that it's then and not now. Look at this C5 Corvette, replaced rear quarter panel, rear fender. This is a classic. C5 Z06 is a classic. C5 Vets a classic. Oh, he put the C5 Z06 rear carbon fiber flare. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. Carbon fiber rear fenders, rear quarters. I like that. I like that. Up oh, and removable steering wheel. Okay. These are the little subtle things that the car folks pick up on. I like it. Um, so we're not sure if it's just a lapse in time, timing, calendar, but ultimately she feels, we feel that um, we need to go ahead and see her while we can. And uh, I'm trying to keep people out of my video, but check out this Ford Bronco Raptor. From Louisiana fast so um, she had a little bit of a fit last night and just kind of just all over the place so um, we just feel that it's best to uh, you know get prepared for what's coming what's happening and uh, be ready to for the, the, the next phase the next phase of our lives which Interestingly enough, let's see if I still got time before the live stream. Interestingly enough, uh, an opportunity for my mom to really be at a point in her life where she can do some of the things that she wants to do and not necessarily be tied to and bound as a caregiver, although she would do it until she couldn't do it anymore. Um, but you know, there's always time for a change. There's always time for uh, something new, which I guess is kind of ironic, kind of fitting for this video as this is unlike what we would typically record, but I'm not like a superstitious person, but I do 
kind of have these thoughts and ideas that ultimately you usually typically end up happening. And sometimes because of that, I don't necessarily want to share them because I feel like maybe if I don't say anything, it won't happen. Because some of the thoughts that I have aren't necessarily the greatest things that are, could potentially be happening. So sometimes I'm thinking, well, maybe if I don't, this will be better. But I'm thinking about it from the standpoint of my grandmother and the dates that she's projecting Maybe she's like me. Maybe she knows something, which would mean that we have seven days until we find out if she is right or not.